New Canton, China, a project jointly built by architect Hervé Torgeman and engineer Jean-Marc Yeager. Two helicoidal towers, each 520 meters high. Today the project is called the Gangzhou Twin Towers, which is simply short for the name of the city where it will be built and the fact that we have two towers which are twins. These will be the first twin towers constructed since September 11th, the Twin Towers of New York. The whole idea was to find a way to create twins and at the same time two associated buildings. Also another theme emerged, which was not the original idea, but soon became self-evident. It was DNA. Coming back to the concept, the twin concept, with a founding element, I would say, an element of heritage, which could be symbolized by its two DNA filaments, which individually would form two twisted lines. As a structural engineer, my first role is to ensure the stability of the structure. So I look at the position of the center of gravity of each floor. The center of gravity is the center of the mass of each floor of the tower. There are 130 floors to the top of this project, which is 520 meters high. And I realized that in Hervé Torgeman's original design, the center of gravity of each floor actually spiraled up to the top of the tower. So what caused a fundamental problem was that the tower, little by little, it would have tilted forward. Jean-Marc Yeager gently tried to convince me that we had to pull the center of gravity back towards the center of the tower. This would of course allow for a more dynamic stability of the building. So we worked with Hervé Torgeman to bring the mass back to the center, using materials as best as we could. For instance, the heavier part at the back, in the fixed zone of the tower, and the lighter part in the front to recenter the center of gravity and ensure that the center of gravity be the very height of the tower, dropping straight down like a plumb line. From there on, the major issue was to rebalance the plan, to redimension it, without losing its functional capability or surface, and also to preserve the aesthetics of